Welcome to my studio. This is a new piece I'm working on. It's a commission of a for a collector that saw my paintings in my gallery in Wimberley, Texas. And so I'm doing this specially for her. And right now I'm working on the sautil tile roof, the Italian tile. People call it different names. Now I am using a mixtures of my mud, which is two parts of alizarin crimson. No, wait a minute, stop, hold on. It is two parts of ultramarine blue and one part of alizarin crimson. And I have mixed cadmium orange into that. And that is what I'm using for my base color for my, my tiles. Now some of the mixtures are darker, they have more of the mud in them. Some of them are more orange, they have more of the cadmium orange in the mixture. I want to get, I kind of paint in the direction that the tiles are laid on the roof. And then I come back in and I add these tiles as they get older and age, they get kind of moss on them and just different, different colors in them. And this adds interest in your tiles up here. Also adding the, the green is mixtures of, it's some that I used, I showed you the full painting in the beginning and it's some of the color that I used for the hill in the background. It's phthalo blue plus cadmium orange plus white. And then the, and this blue that I'm using here is ultramarine blue plus white. This just gives some variation within the tiles. Now there's going to be wisteria draping down over, over these tiles, but I have to do the tiles first so then I can paint the wisteria over it. It's, it's almost like in, in the painting I'm constructing my building first and then I landscape it. So I will have to do my roof and the rock building, then I can paint the wisteria so that it comes down over it. Wouldn't want to paint the wisteria first because then I'd, it'd be, I'd mess it up going back in and painting all this other stuff. But I just put the paint up here. I don't, I don't make it solid. I want variation within the, in my tiles. That gives a lot of interest in the painting so that when somebody's looking at it, even every area that they look at, there's, there's interest in them. Just drop my tissue. I'm uh, having to mix a little bit more color with my little more cadmium orange into my, my mud and, and white to make a little bit, make this lighter mixture. And now the sun's coming in from the left, and so these tiles here get a little more light on them. But I don't want to go up too far because I don't want that light to take you out of the painting. Now this is a mixture of my mud plus liquid, and this just gives me a dark that I can come in. I don't do the lines all the way up, I just kind of indicate where the tiles are. And now the ends of the tiles then I make with that mud mixture. And this, this again is a bright brush. It's square tipped, but it's very easy to make that round tile by just twisting the brush, turning the brush. Now I need to come back in and come back in between these where the, that round tile, you can see that between each, each of the ends. But I really, the roof is something that I like to get a lot of color in, a lot of variation, lots of texture. So that, because those old tiles are very rough, and that just adds interest into the painting.
It doesn't matter if my brush picks up a little bit of color from the tile when I'm making these ends. Several people have asked me to show how I, I paint the tiles, and so that's, that's how it's done. And all of the all of the burnt sienna colors are my my mud plus cadmium orange. And as I get lighter, then I add white to it. And it always adds some interest to, to add some little mossy colors and stuff in there. But there you go. That's how I paint the saltile tiles, the tile roof. Thank you for watching my YouTube videos. Please feel free to ask questions. You can always ask in the comments section. I also have a blog where I show the complete step-by-step -step process of the painting. The link is in the description below. It's also on the final frame of my YouTube video, the address is. So you have a wonderful, wonderful day today. And just while you're out and about, give somebody a big smile. You know, even if I found that even if I don't really feel real great or whatever, if I put a smile on my face, before long I feel a whole lot better. And it just, you never know what's happening in other people's lives. So giving them a smile, you just may change their whole day. They may feel like, oh my gosh, there's somebody that really cares about me. So smile at people. Tell them have a great day. And so you have a wonderful day, and thank you again.